Today, 16 players are here trying to win $50,000. Every one of them holds a different riddle, but only one of them holds the jackpot riddle. You never know when someone in the game will stand up and yell, JACKPOT! Folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at another game show review, and this is of the game show called Jackpot. This was originally created uh, uh, by uh, Bob Stewart and ran on NBC from uh, 1974 to 1975, and later on it ran on the USA Network and the Global Network in Canada, and it was uh, taped in Canada from... Uh, 1985 to 1988, and it ran on syndication in 1989 to 1990. Some background info about the show. It ran on NBC from uh, January 7, 1974 to September 26, 1975, aired around uh, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., somewhere around there on the USA Global Networks. It ran from September 30, 1985 to December 30, 1988. On the syndicated networks, it ran from uh, September 18, 1989 to March 16, 1990. Creator was Bob Stewart. Hosts were Jeff Edwards for the NBC and syndicated versions and Mike Darrow for the USA Global version. The announcers were Don Pardo and Wayne Howell for the NBC versions, Ken Ryan and John Harris for the USA Global versions, and John Harlan and Johnny Gilbert for the syndicated versions. The original theme was called Jet Set, created by Mike Vickers. It was also used in This Week in Baseball. The uh, later theme for uh, USA Global and Syndicated was called Shoot for the Stars, and it was created by Bob Copert for the game show Shoot for the Stars from 1977. Uh, it aired after Hollywood Squares on NBC and was followed by Baffle, Celebrity Sweepstakes, or Blank Check. It replaced the Who, What, or Where game and was replaced by the Magnificent Marble Machine. It was taped at NBC Studios, uh, later uh, Global Television Studio in Toronto, and later Glendale, California for the syndicated version. Directors were Mike Gargiulo, William G. Elliott, and Bruce Burmester. <laughs> Today, 16 players are here, are trying to win $50,000. Every one of them holds a different riddle, but only one of them holds the jackpot riddle. You never know when someone in the game will stand up and yell, JACKPOT! Ladies and gentlemen, here's the star of our show, Jack Edwards. Uh, 
For those of you who have been watching the last four shows, you know that this is our last show together with this group. I kind of view this with mixed emotions, sort of like watching my mother-in-law drive my new car over a cliff. <laughs> No, I'm going to miss you guys. You guys are great. Okay, welcome to Jackpot. We're, well, you're pretty good. Welcome to Jackpot, where 16 players compete for $50,000 in cash. Our current expert is Ann Griswold. She's a rental agent from Fort Wayne, Indiana. How you doing, Annie? Fine. Okay, love. Here's a basic rundown of how to play Jackpot. 16 contestants played for a week. There were 15 in stands. One was at a podium, and they were called either the king or queen of the hill or the expert. The podium contestant picked one in the stands at a time, and each had a riddle. They would read the riddle along with uh, show a cash value, and if the king, queen of the hill, or expert got it right, they kept accruing higher cash values and picked another riddler. If they missed, then the uh, riddler and the king, queen of the hill switched places. The jackpot riddle with a correct answer would split the accrued jackpot between both contestants. There was also a super jackpot and the total of that I think was picked by a, a randomizer. There was also a target number uh, at some point during the series and if the riddle values added up to exactly the target number and the riddle was solved the super jackpot total, which was cash and or prizes, was split by the two contestants. The king or queen of the hill or expert might pass on a jackpot riddle if they uh, wanted to keep accruing higher dollar values or reach the super jackpot's target number. Uh, if all 15 contestants in the stands were used, then they started over. Sometimes special riddles gave a bonus prize, doubled the jackpot, or made an instant target match. All right, number 12. Number 12. Okay, I'm worth $150, and this is my clue. We're the gay guys who lived in Sherwood Forest with Robin Hood. What are we called? <laughs> uh, Robin Hood's fairies? <laughs> I know they wore those cute little green suits, but it was the, the Merry Men. The Merry Men is who they were. Come on. Come on. Pam comes down. $2,305 in the jackpot. Go ahead, Pam. Number one. Number one. I'm worth $125, and this is my clue. With my nose, I look like the W.C. Fields of Santa's reindeer. What's my Rudolph. name? Rudolph. Rudolph, the guy with the red nose. That's right. Uh, Jackpot! <laughs> Helen and Paul, this riddle's worth $3,345. Oh, good luck. Here's my clue. I'm the race in which all the people are entered. What am I called? The human race! Right, right <laughs> Oh, right back. The super jackpot may also have been created by a two-digit randomizer that multiplied itself by the target number, or there may be a super jackpot riddle somewhere among the 15 contestants in the stands. It seemed like the game was a little more complicated to me than it needed to be. Well, Paul, you got yourself a nice jackpot. Now, let's see what happens with the super jackpot. Let's see how big we can get it this time. It could go as high as $50,000 because these are random numbers. There are two multipliers of 15 and 20. One of all the others. The target number in this game is 775. Okay, that's multiplied by a random number between 5 and 50. And this time, it's multiplied by... 50! <laughs> that 
means if you correctly answer a riddle in the last three digits of the jackpot match, that target number will multiply by 50 for a super jackpot riddle worth $38,750. And all of us here are wondering if we're going to see a super jackpot, a super jackpot wallet. It could happen. It does happen at least once in 10 shows, maybe more often than that. So look for it because when somebody yells super jackpot, the expert will try to solve just one riddle for all the money in the super jackpot. A correct answer, the two of you could win up to $50,000. In this case, you'd win $38,750. The riddles range in value from $5 to $200. You're looking for a $40 riddle. This feels like home. <laughs> um, number three. Number three. Super Jackpot! <laughs> well, Pam, there it is. This one riddle is worth $38,750. I'll read it, and I'll repeat it once, and you'll have five seconds. He's a carpenter, and I'm a shepherd, but we were both in the same line of work. What's our line? Astronaut! Right! <laughs> Some final thoughts or notes on the NBC 1974-75 version. The winningest contestants of the week may win a special prize or cash. The riddle format was ditched near the end of the 70s series by NBC daytime head Lynn Bolin in favor of more quiz show-like questions. Like many game shows, Jackpot suffered against soap opera ratings. And lastly, uh, I think Jeff Edwards was a terrific host. He had a kind of unusual voice for a game show host, which uh, Jack Berry at one point took exception to, and uh, uh, Jeff Edwards was not happy with that. You have been a wild group, I'm going to tell you. Absolutely dynamite. The floor is for you guys. And that wraps it up for these five shows here on Jackpot. We're going to be back next time. We'll have 16 new players all trying to win that $50,000 in cash. Until then, it's Jeff Edwards saying, join us on the next show. Bye-bye. Some of our contestants will see no good for you. Ladies and gentlemen, every one of these 15 players is holding a different riddle. But one of them is holding a secret jackpot riddle that could be worth thousands of dollars. Who can it be? At any moment, someone in the game is going to stand up and say, Jackpot! Now, here's your host, Mike Dell. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Ken. Hi, welcome to Jackpot, our challenging game of riddles and rhymes with our 16 players who'll be with us all this week trying for big cash and prizes. So why don't you play along at home, have some fun with us as we welcome our King of the Hill, Lauren McDonald, Queen of the Hill here. Welcome to you, Lauren, and to our other 15 players on my right who all have riddles. Each of them a different one, and one of them has that jackpot riddle. Nobody knows who that is. The object of the game is to find that person, solve the riddle for all the money in the jackpot. Let's begin today's game, first of all, by putting money in the super jackpot. The super jackpot is $7,000. Now, as this is your first day with us, everybody, you win the super jackpot when you answer one riddle correctly, and you get to do that when your jackpot number matches the target number. And set the target number for today, please. $670. Good luck to you. Some thoughts for the USA Network and Global Network uh, Canadian version. Uh, Mike Darrow hosted Dream House, a, sh a game show called Dream House from 68 to 70, and announced for uh, a number of game shows. Uh, the riddle format returned. This time around, the riddles rhymed. There was no multiplier. If the last riddler picked, had the jackpot riddle, uh, an extra one thousand dollars was uh, won with an extra or with a correct riddle guess. The most riddles solved in a week won the contestant uh, like ten thousand dollars or a prize package. Towards the end of the series, a fifty thousand dollar riddle 
had its total split by all contestants who correctly got that riddle that week. Jackpot, Jackpot was part of a great game show block on the USA Network in the 1980s. USA Network was pretty awesome back then. Uh, Mike Darrow died in 1996. He was 63. Rest in peace, Mike. Okay, number 12. For $100, this is my riddle. I can be a permanent, but don't ever forget that out by the shore, I'm always all wet. What am I? A wave. Oh, that is correct. <laughs> and please, don't start one on the show panel, all right? Don't start a wave over here. Uh, you have 315 in the jackpot. Still looking for the jackpot riddle, so keep going, Lauren. Number two. See what Kathy says. For $125, this is my riddle. I'm a little piece of wood that gets under your skin. What am I called? A splinter? Yep. Splinter. Oh. 440. Okay. The first player and the last player, one of them, has the jackpot. If it's, if it's not revealed to the last player, we'll add $1,000 to that jackpot number. Lauren, good luck. 15. 15 says... Jackpot! Oh. All right. The sigh was because they wanted to put another thousand dollars in the jackpot. Now you still have one more. You want to go? Peter G is sitting there, and he can give you one more riddle, and uh, you can add it to the jackpot if you're right. The risk is, of course, if you're wrong, then you'll have to switch. Put Peter, and he'll have the chance for the jackpot riddle. What do you want to do? I'll take the the jackpot. The jackpot. All right, Heather, you'll split the jackpot of one thousand six hundred eighty-five with Lauren if you get this right. Good luck to you. I laid the largest egg on Sesame Street. What's my name? I laid the largest egg on Sesame Street. What's my name? Big Bird. Big Bird. $1,685, Lauren. Get over here. Heather's the new king of the hill, and we'll be back with a new game right after this. to wait for tomorrow to see you go for a car. Big money leader so far is Annette, $4,227.50. Over $15,000, players, and tomorrow you'll again have the chance to stand up and say... Grand transportation for jackpot provided by... This is Ken Ryan, hoping that you win the jackpot. Mike Darrow was an okay host. I liked uh, Jeff Edwards quite a bit more. thought he was uh, more fun. And speaking of which, uh, Jeff Edwards would return for the final version of Jackpot, the syndicated version, uh, which ran from September 18, 1989 to March 16, 1990. And let's look at that. Today, 16 players are here trying to win $25,000. Every one of them holds a different riddle, but only one of them holds the jackpot riddle. You never know when someone in the game will stand up and yell... Jackpot! Ladies and gentlemen, your host is Jeff Edwards. Thanks a lot. Thank you, James. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thanks. Welcome to Jackpot. As you can see, we have 16 players in this game. They're going to be with us every day this week, shooting for big cash prizes. This is Lynn. Lynn is an artist rep, not like an artist agent, I suppose, Lynn, yes. right? Yes. Okay, she is the king of the hill until, of course, she misses a riddle. Now, Lynn, each one of those 15 players is holding a different riddle. Every time you solve one, we're going to add money to the jackpot. But one player is holding the secret jackpot riddle. That's the one that you're going to be looking for, because when you find that player, you're going to go for all the money in the jackpot. Let's go for the jackpot. Going for the jackpot. <laughs> all right, Sonia, you read the jackpot riddle. I'll repeat it, and uh, then you try and solve it, Beth. The best of luck. Thank you. I'm an island, a triangle, and a pair of shorts. What am I? I'm an island, a triangle, and a pair of shorts for $1,130. What am I? Bermuda! You've got it! Good for both of you. Congratulations to you. We're going to take a break. We'll be back on Jackpot in just a few minutes. We're going to get your target number here for this game. If you turn around and take a look at it, our target number will spin around. Let's see where we end up today. 
Okay, we have 560 for the target number. Anytime your jackpot number matches that target number in this game, you'll be going for a super jackpot worth... $16,000! Well, I was glad they brought Jeff Edwards back. I liked him better than uh, Mike Darrow, even though uh, Jeff was a little little heavier, a little grayer by this point. I still thought he was a lot more uh, personable than uh, Mike Darrow. But um, they had ditched the the multiplier by this point, which I really didn't think they needed anyway. Uh, back in the uh, original series, Jeff had to host both Jackpot in New York and Treasure Hunt in Los Angeles simultaneously. That really sucked. <laughs> But uh, let's look at some more of the latest jackpot incarnation. For the jackpot riddle is, well, one of those six players has a riddle with $130, which would, if you could solve it, match the target number. I'm going to try number nine. Number nine. God be with us. For $130. That's it! <laughs> All right. Now, let me tell you what we're going to do here. You have found the riddle. You solve that riddle, and then the jackpot and the target number will match, and you're going to be playing for a super jackpot worth $14,500. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> My riddle is, if you don't want your pants around your knees, let me and my buckle give your waist a squeeze. What am I? You're a belt. You are right, Kevin. Look at the numbers roll up. The jackpot number matches the target number. And you are going for $14,500. Okay, I have the super jackpot riddle right here. This is just a little bit different because either one of you can answer this riddle, but I can only accept one answer, and that'll be from the first person who speaks up. I'm going to read it once, then I'll repeat it. Then you have five seconds to answer. Good luck. For $14,500, this is the super jackpot riddle. I'm hard on the outside, precious on the inside, and I spend most of my time in bed. I'll read it one more time. I'm hard on the outside, precious on the inside, and I spend most of my time in bed. For $14,500, what am I? You're an oyster. You've got $14,500! Okay, now, I'll, I'll tell you what we're going to do. You got it right, so you stay up there. Oh, there's the buzzer. Okay, you, scoot right back up there, Kevin. You head over there, Sonia. That buzzer that you heard means this is the end of the show, so this is the last riddle of the week. It's on an automatic jackpot riddle. Alan, stand up. We'll go right to you, and here's a chance for another 640 bucks, Kevin. Wow. <laughs> here's my riddle. Think of it as your taxes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna win yeah. something here. <laughs> Your wife doesn't mind if you take me out every night, as long as the neighbors don't get wind of it. Your wife doesn't mind if you take me out every night, as long as the neighbors don't get wind of it. For six hundred forty dollars, what am I? Uh, okay. Got the trash. Trash or garbage? Yes, right. indeed. We'll give that to you. We'll go to the commercial. We'll be right back. Well, Kathy and Jane won some nice prizes today. John, you want to tell them about it? Let's start with Kathy. You've won Hitachi's compact disc changer. Plays 12 compact discs. Independent disc exchange. Free play modes. Built-in timer. Scan and play. Don't stop the music. From Hitachi, a $519 value. And Jane, you've won a stay at Murrieta Hot Springs Resort in beautiful Southern California. Enjoy tennis, historic natural mineral water, and European spa services. From Murrieta Hot Springs Resort and Health Spa, a $1,455 value. Uh, congratulations to both of you. I hope you enjoy your prizes. Kevin, our king of the hill, you shared over $15,000, and your return tripper will see you uh, in the weeks to come. And this week, all of our players shared over $31,000 in cash and prizes. Give yourselves a hand. You're a great group of contestants. Had a great time with you. 
This is Jeff Edwards. Hoping to see you again right here on Jackpot. Be sure to tune in Monday when somebody is going to stand up and shout. Jackpot! Well, some final thoughts on Jackpot. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of a hideous 70s jacket for uh, Jeff Edwards there. That was that was another uh, trademark of Lynn Bullen fashion of the times. <laughs> uh, 